I wanna talk about flat earth. And I notice things like when you search it in a search engine, all you get is misinformation. You don't even get real critical thought on it. Well, I saw the blanket censorship, which tells me there's truth to it. Tells me that they're panicking. They're in panic mode and they don't want us to have real tangible information. More importantly, they don't want you to think critically about it. See, we're in the information age and this is what the tactic is. This is why Logan Paul just did a video on Flat Earth. It's why Shane Dawson just did a series of videos. It's to discredit the real truth. True. True. It tells me that there's something here that they don't want you to know. It tells me that mainstream science, NASA, and more importantly, our government powers are panicking. So they're hiring through the same companies that they own, because there's only six companies, by the way. If it's a wild conspiracy theory, why do they need to discredit it? If it's a wild conspiracy theory and it isn't the truth, and no one's gonna believe it because they're smart enough to think on their own, why do they need to discredit it? Why do they need, and these same people, keep, keep in mind, Logan Paul, Disney is the parent company. I'm pretty sure he gets a check from Walt Disney. Why would they then put out these misinformation campaigns? I mean, ask yourself these logical questions. I think we know the answer and I think we know the reason. Is it possible that we're living in that Truman Show today? We're living on the flat earth with the dome, the firmament. As we start to look around us, we start to wake up, our eyes open, maybe that third eye opens, we start to understand, wow, this isn't what I thought it was. Maybe instead of being a worthless blob of goo that came from nothing and then developing into apes that were ooing and aahing and then eating bananas like a bunch of idiots, maybe instead of that, we actually are the center of the universe. Maybe we are special. In fact, maybe there is unbelievable evidence of creation, but the government has decided to hide that from you. Why? Why is there so much misinformation? Why is there a giant disinformation campaign going on right now when it comes to things like flat earth? Are my eyes lying to me? Or can I trust what I'm actually seeing? But Christopher, the earth is a globe. I was told that when I was one years old. They said, look, this is a globe. Isn't it interesting? It's one of the first things that you're actually taught. The earth isn't flat, it's a globe. Even though for hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of years, they thought that the earth was flat. Oh, but Christopher, we have all these images of outer space that show that the earth is a sphere. Really? Where do the images come from? NASA. Oh, you mean the same NASA that is our government, our secretive breakaway government that hasn't been back to the moon since the 1960s. That NASA, have you ever seen it with your own eyes? How come no, none of the electronics account for curvature of the Earth when you're flying a plane? None of the engineering of bridges and train tracks, buildings, all kinds of infrastructure that goes for miles and hundreds and maybe thousands of miles, none of it accounts for in its actual engineering blueprints for the curvature of the Earth. I mean, if I was building a giant bridge with hundreds of miles, wouldn't I have to account for the curve? Or is it possible there's not a curve and that we've been lied to for a reason? Ms. Downs, does Google think that this is a problem and what is the solution that you're coming up with to address it? 
So the, the first way is by demoting low-quality content and promoting more authoritative content. And the second is by providing more transparency for users. So we're introducing boxes that provide factual information at the top of results that have shown themselves to turn up a lot of information that is counterfactual, such as searching for the Earth is flat on YouTube, where you see a lot of Your response uh, is to put a box out. saying, nope, the Earth is not flat. Correct. Your okay. response is to put a box out. saying, nope, the Earth is not flat. Correct. Your okay. response is to put a box saying, nope, the Earth is not flat. Correct. Breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers. The most interesting one was during the Clinton years at the White House on the 25th anniversary. Or do you remember what Armstrong said, the most stunning thing that an astronaut could say, and I think in this milieu get away with it? Give us the quote. Well, he, he said two things. At the start of his speech, he compared himself and the other astronauts to birds, to parrots. And he then made a joke and he said, and parrots don't fly very well. Well, what else do parrots do, George? <laughs> they repeat what, what they're they told. told. Plant is <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Wilbur Wright once noted that the only bird that could talk was the parrot and he didn't fly very well <laughs> there are great ideas undiscovered breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers there are places to go beyond belief because there lies human destiny. Your idealistic faces riveted on the first man on the moon talking to them and he looked at them and he said there are wonders beyond belief. There are truths to be revealed if one can remove truths protective layers. Now, where in the world does one get the idea the truth has to have protection to be found out? Breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers. Breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers.